So Bob, it's time to talk day to day. Tell us what that's all about. Um, well, time to talk day to day every year, recognised around the world, I think, uh, where people are encouraged, like we are now, to have a chat about mental health um, and promote the positive impact of that. Um, the statistics, let's have it right, speak for themselves. Um, and sometimes, you know, with the best will in the world, um, help of whatever kind isn't there, which exemplifies the fact that it is so important to talk about what is going on in your head, things what, you know, you might not understand and you might think nobody else understands um, because the, the impact of having just a simple conversation can be so, so important. That's true. And so how important is it about talking about your mental health? It can be a game changer. Um, obviously, you know, it depends the sort of situation you're in. But one thing I've learned about mental health is that if you don't do anything about it and almost well, very similar to physical health if you kind of let things lie and and you know brush them under the carpet it creeps up on you and and things can go dramatically worse um so in terms of how important it is you know um it can be a game changer but you know it can be a life changer as well so how hard is it to talk about mental health um it's very hard um anyone who knows me you know may think that i'm quite open about it because you know i tell people what i want them to know i don't tell them what i don't want them to know um and that and that's part of i don't know whether it's a male thing but um it's part of almost like an act um i honestly think that everybody whether you know you recognize it or not has two personalities that's the personality what you portray to the outside world and, and the one which you have, you know, when you close the doors at night and, you know, sometimes one goes hand in hand with the other and sometimes one can be at the detriment of, of another. Um, so, yeah, so people probably think that I'm quite open um, about mental health, but that's that persona, isn't it? That's that. That's how you, I portray myself when I'm in that sort of character, um, you know, and Sometimes I feel like the most two-faced person in the world because because that might not be the case, you know, when the other, other character comes out. So how is that, Bob? How has talking helped you with your mental health? Um, yeah, it, it's it's been a game changer. Um, it's kind of helped change the narrative and what I mean by that is that mental health is a horrible sort of illness let's have it right whereby you convince yourself that there is a reality out there which may not be so for example um, and I'm just going to be as open as you know I ever have been now I've got a massive thing about feeling good enough um, because I don't feel it and you know, Max fans out here, um, a lot of them know me and, you know, and it's so nice, but if you don't feel it yourself, there can be a million people saying the same things to you, but if you don't feel it, you don't feel it. Um, and that in itself can kind of like make you feel a fraud and, and this, that and the other. Um, and I've always, not always, but for a long time, I've been kind of like, fairly open um, about things like anxiety, depression and things like that. But there are other things as well, which like you think are a big part of you, um, which you feel that you're keeping a secret and you're keeping kind of like from people so that they, no one ever really knows you. Um, I'll give you an example. So when in the, <coughs> in the kind of like last few months or whatever of, of Max Hound, um, and this is the first time I've ever said this, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> obviously, there's the, the anxiety, there's the depression, there's this, that, and the other. But more than anything, I just... Them feelings of not feeling good enough were pretty loose. Um, and that took, that took a few different forms. And one of them, if you remember, you knew me at the time, a lot of the Max fans did, I dropped a load of weight. Mm -hmm. um, I think... I think that let's just say that that wasn't necessarily done the right way. Okay. 
Um, and so then the problem you've got if you don't talk about it is that when I started to put weight back on, everyone was like, that's a bad thing, you know, Christ, Bob, you're putting weight on what you're doing. But the reality was that I was actually healing myself from what, from what had happened. Um, so that goes back to how important it is to like talk to people because I just kept that quiet yeah. for, for a long time. And it's only now, um, thanks to people here, I'm going to be straight, people here, because, you know, you work with people, but we're a team. I know this is a cliche, I know it's cringy, but we, we are a team both on and off the pitch, people like you. Um, Lindsay, Rachel, everyone, um, and Rob and Robbie have, have kind of like um, been amazing. The, Rob and Robbie have, you know, forget about taking over the club, forget about what they've done for the club, but on a personal level, um, I don't think we could have a better team at the minute, and, and I think that that is the number one reason why I'm trying to, well, I am sorting myself out at the minute. And I think really you just answered my last, well, my penultimate question is that what reaction have you had when talking about your mental health? Where you've had the support? It, yeah, you, you've, you've got to really, really trust somebody. Um, and, I, and I know that sounds stupid, but bear in mind I'm on the camera. <laughs> um, but you have, but the one thing, talking to a few select people over the past few months where, you know, I've started to to get myself on the right track and I am on the right track now but you know in the last couple of months it's kind of like it's almost taught me to be proud of the scars that are there and god knows there are a few do you know what I mean um but that then gives you the confidence to feel like you're not the person in your head wants you to believe that you are um and obviously you know um there's a long way to go. It's, it's like you got to keep on top of it every day. But without them people and without having them conversations, you've got your arms tied behind your back. And finally, Bob, what would you say to anyone watching this um, that need? What What would you say their first step is? The, f the first step is is to obviously talk to somebody that you trust. Um, Certainly for me, you could say to me, Amanda, but Bob, you've got like thousands of people and you could go to, but the, the whole point of it was that I felt bad because I hated the fact that I thought that the small part of me in their lives, I've let them down. And that grated me. But when you, when you realise that actually you haven't and actually they want to, hold your hand on this journey to get you to where you should be it is a game changer and you just not overnight that's wrong but within a, a very very short period of time your whole lot outlook's different and if your whole outlook is positive like like mine is at the minute then you think you can do anything well done Bob thank you